Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as you may well know, Microsoft Edge has a system and performance feature called Startup Boost, which according to Microsoft opens Edge faster when you start your device. Now, according to a recent announcement um, from Microsoft, it seems that Microsoft is now looking to speed up its Office apps using the same feature, where if you are using Microsoft Office, you will be able to use a new startup boost task to improve according to Microsoft performance and load time of experiences within the Office suite. Now, the rollout of the startup boost, according to the announcement, is due to start in mid-May and scheduled to complete by the end of um, the month of May. And basically the idea is that it uses Windows Task Scheduler to preload components needed by Office apps. And what it potentially tries to do then is to help to accelerate start times when a user launches an app like Word or Excel. Now Microsoft has um, this to say, and, they, and I'm quoting, they say, after the system performs the task, the app remains in a pause state until the app launches and the sequence resumes or the system removes the app from memory to reclaim resources. The system can perform this task for an app after a device reboot and periodically as system conditions allow. And this is very similar as mentioned to what's going on with that startup boost in Microsoft Edge. Now the feature will be enabled by default as we can see in the image provided. But Microsoft does say that Startup Boost is an optional performance feature and it's safe to disable. So when disabled, Microsoft Office apps will be fully functional but may take longer to load. And if you are wanting to disable Startup Boost entirely um, to prevent the, the process from starting, what you need to do to disable the feature is you use the in-app setting. So as an example in Word, that would be Options, General, as we can see, startup options, and there we go, startup boost, and you can toggle that off. So just remember that will be on by default when it rolls out. So you have the option to turn it off, which I'm always grateful for because I like it when new features roll out and we do get different options. And just take note though, for this feature to be able to work, you'll need to have a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM, five gigabytes of free disk space, and not have energy saver mode enabled on your PC for that startup boost to work. But as I've said previously with Microsoft Edge, I've turned this feature off uh, in Microsoft Edge because I have found that it does cause more issues than it's trying to resolve. And I personally don't feel in Edge that it makes any difference. But nonetheless, obviously, that's open to a debate. But uh, um, it'll be interesting to see if it does speed up the Office apps opening when it does roll out and if I don't use Microsoft Office I only use the online apps but uh, um, it'll be interesting to hear your comments when that does make its way into your part of the world so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one